create your own website with Wix. Hey, so I don't know about you, but in my family, the women have always outlived the men. And I was just thinking about it the other day and I was wondering, was there any science behind it? It couldn't just be a coincidence. So I had a look and it turns out that women live longer than men everywhere in the world. In the UK, women have lived longer than men for a long time and that gap has actually increased over time. And as noted in a paper published a few years ago, in Europe in the 19th century, life expectancy was less than 40 years and longevity of the two genders was generally very similar. The high female mortality due to pregnancy and childbirth corresponded to a higher male mortality from causes related to work, accidental injury or violence. Moreover, infections and communicable diseases obviously affected and killed men and women almost equally because hygiene wasn't really a thing back then. Germ theory wasn't really established until the late 1800s and we didn't have antibiotics until Fleming did his thing in this last century. So it seems pretty obvious then that over time biological, behavioural and environmental factors have contributed to the fact that women live longer than men. But how important are each of these factors? According to Austin et al, this divergence in life expectancy can partly be explained by the declining rates in maternal mortality, so women dying in childbirth. However, a major contribution is due to differences in behaviour and biology between males and females. So, a chap called Tom Kirkwood, who studied the biological basis for ageing at Newcastle Uni, told the BBC that there are many potential mechanisms, starting with the bundles of DNA known as chromosomes within each cell. Chromosomes come in pairs, and whereas women have two X chromosomes, men have an X and a Y chromosome. That difference may subtly alter the way that cells age. Having two X chromosomes, women keep double copies of every gene, meaning that they have spare if one is faulty. Men don't have that backup. So the result is that more cells may begin to malfunction with time, putting men at greater risk of disease. He also stated that among the other alternatives is the jogging female heart hypothesis. The idea that a woman's heart rate increases during the second half of the menstrual cycle, offering the same benefits as moderate exercise. The result is delayed risk of cardiovascular disease later in life. Or it could also be a simple matter of size. Taller people have more cells in their bodies, meaning that they're more likely to develop powerful mutations. So it could be argued that having more cells that could potentially become defective could increase your risk of cancer. A fun fact from that BBC article was given by a Korean scientist, Han Nam Park, who analysed the detailed records of court life from the 19th century, including information about 81 eunuchs whose testicles had been removed before puberty. His analysis revealed that the eunuchs lived for around 70 years compared to the average of just 50 years among the other men in the court. Overall, they were 130 times more likely to celebrate their 100th birthday than the average man living in Korea at the time. Even the kings, who were the most pampered people in the palace, did not come close. So this was overall suggesting that testosterone was partly to blame for men not living as long as women. So it is down to a plethora of different factors, from women surviving childbirth much more than they used to, down to your tennis balls. This video was sponsored by Wix. Wix is the best place to create the website you want and where I went to set up my own website. You can start from scratch or you can choose from over 500 designer made templates like I did. With the world's most innovative drag and drop website builder, you can design any website you want without really knowing what you're doing like me. You can have it exactly the way you want, optimized for mobile use and also create an online store. And if unlike me, you know exactly what you're doing, you can take full control of your website's functionality with JavaScript and Wix code APIs. It's serverless hassle-free coding. Also, you can have a custom domain name and set up a personalized email that matches your website domain and brand email name. So if you've been thinking about setting up a website, you should definitely make it with Wix. You can check them out by clicking on the link in the description down below. And as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. To see more videos, hit subscribe. Thank you to my patrons on Patreon and thank you for watching. Bye.